So now you and your reproductive endocrinologist have decided that in vitro fertilization carries the best chance for achieving a pregnancy. Uh, and uh, now that, that you, und you understood why are you doing in vitro fertilization, either because the tubes are blocked or your partner has few few number of sperm, uh, or you're trying to test the embryos to avoid the genetic problem uh, and so on. Um, it is very important for you and your physician to sit together and discuss uh, how is the treatment being conducted. Individualization of all aspects of treatment is key for success. Um, uh, one aspect of that is uh, crafting the best ovarian stimulation protocol that will produce the optimal number of uh, eggs. Uh, the optimal number of eggs is not necessarily a, a large number of eggs. It could be just seven or eight eggs that are mature and of good quality, which would be much better than having 20 or 30 eggs. The majority of them are not mature and of lower quality. Uh, also, uh, the protocol should avoid excessive exposure to gonadotropin and give you just enough, a small amount of gonadotropin that will get you to where you want. And that is in, in, in a coherent relation or a strong relation to uh, uh, the, the studying of ovarian reserve before you even start. And uh, uh, for uh, some uh, uh, women that have uh, that predicted low response to stimulation because uh, we think that the number of eggs in the ovary is small, they also require special attention of how to optimize the number of eggs in the ovary whether that might be synchronizing of their follicles in the luteal phase before they start injectable medications or using oral medications or some of the many other methods uh, or, uh, or employing uh, mild stimulation. Uh, or, or, and, and, and so this is a key for also optimizing the number of eggs that are produced. Uh, sperm analysis and other indications would point to the need of injecting the sperm into the egg, otherwise known as intracytoplasmic sperm injection or ICSI, or uh, do conventional insemination where the sperm is surrounded, the eggs are surrounded by sperm and, and, and then left for, uh, to fertilize alone. Um, other points in individualization could be related to uh, the quality of the lining of the uterus. Also, the number of embryos to be transferred, which is uh, the appropriate number of embryos to be transferred is directly to re related to um, uh, our perception of uh, the implantation potential of the, of the embryo. So, uh, and, and this is related to uh, the female age and, uh, of, and the quality of the embryos in the lab. And it, the, the best approach is to minimize the number of embryos to be transferred to avoid the risk of multiple pregnancy. Uh, so your reproductive endocrinologist may decide to place one embryo only or sometimes uh, a larger number of embryos uh, as uh, it is needed. Uh, this individualization of treatment is key and no treatment plan should proceed without being tailored to uh, uh, the, the various intricate male and female factors uh, so that the optimal success, the, the best chance for success is achieved.